other conditions to ensure the community is safe. He says residents who live in rural areas can still burn if they follow the county guidelines. We'll be working with the Texas Forestry Service, uh, monitoring our weather conditions. The residents who uh, reside out in the rural areas that don't have trash pickup, uh, they will be allowed to burn and dispose of their household trash. The Forest Service says it expects wildfire activity to continue as high temperatures and dry conditions also continue. Well, it's time to get crafty with paint, and Danielle's got a, one unique way for us to do that at a local event that we can check out. Oh, yeah, it's going to get our creativity going, Adam. Are you down for that? Yes, I feel I'm pretty creative. <laughs> Actually, you are. I agree. So you're going to like this a lot, okay? I want to officially welcome you to the world of candlestick painting. See, there's going to be a special event that's going to allow attendees to design beautiful patterns and colors on the bodies of various candlesticks for decoration and, of course, for use. Now, it is a fun hobby. You can do it alone or with family and friends, and it's also a pastime that you can try out even for selling online if you want. There's going to be brushes on site, and you can use them to illuminate your candlesticks in a very artistic way, and supplies are going to be provided as long as they last, and you can pick out certain time frames to drop by because they're going to have various appointment times that you can choose from. Plus, there will be a fun craft menu available, so you can definitely, you know, pick out some delicious eats to indulge in while you're getting that creativity on and candlesticks and candles together, of course, not only can be used as art, as in this case, but of course, a very practical tool for lighting out of the beauty that they provide, as well as necessity, especially when the electricity goes out. It's a good one. <laughs> candles themselves have been around for many, many years, okay, and they come in all shapes and sizes. So painting the thin sticks versions of them can definitely be a unique experience, for sure. And you'll get to learn about candles throughout history on site. And this event is going to be taking place this Friday. That's tomorrow, so it could be a fun activity to try out and maybe jumpstart your weekend fun. It's all happening from 2 in the afternoon to 8 in the evening. So, you know, again, a great opportunity to head on out there after your work day. And it's all happening at Craft Social in the city of McAllen. So a great chance to, you know, meet up with other local artists and creatives within our community. You can check out the website on your screen for all the info on this event. And we hope that you do have a fun filled time if you do decide to head on out there. So pretty cool. Guys, I don't know if you noticed, but I did say there's going to be a full craft menu. So <laughs> even if you're not really down for the painting, you don't, you're not confident in your painting skills. Hey, you could eat. You can go for the <laughs> eats. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I think that's pretty cool. I'd be, I'd be down for trying some creativity on something unique <laughs> instead of like a canvas or a piece of paper. Absolutely. It's a little bit less daunting sometimes because I feel like when we have the canvas in front of us, it's blank and there's so much room and yeah. endless possibilities. But this one seems more of like kind of a design type thing. <laughs> some like polka this. dots. I some Some stripes. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, right? some painting going <laughs> some on. Info. Adam didn't even know. No, and he gonna, was like, whoa, that, that, that was you painting. Yeah, that, I remember? didn't even remember anyone yeah. recording that. But okay. <laughs> yeah, but no, you know what's great about this? If we were to paint something and we hate it, we can just light it up and let it melt oh. away. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, I'm going to leave mine on display <laughs> out front yeah, have center of my home. Adam's like, burn it. Burn it. Burn so, it down. so this masterpiece is long gone, what you're saying. Yeah, no, it is, I don't know. I don't want to say it doesn't look good because I don't know who did it. <laughs> but it's looking decent. It's going to keep my abstract candles art. away you from did Adam. This. Yeah, well, thanks for the info, Danielle. <laughs> you got it. Well, still to come, UTRGV's marching band is gearing up for Welcome Week workshops. Where you can expect to see their performances, that's next after.